Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney's next live action movie after the last live action movie. And there's another. But before the next live action but movie. But before the next one, yeah. So this one's got Race Swap in it too, and the last one did too. But yeah, of course it does because that's 2023. This is Peter Pan and Wendy. And, uh, I think the magic is wearing off because we're, we're noticing that there's been more and more criticism toward Disney and their live action adaptations. And yeah, some people are like, why do you got to race swap characters? In this case, it's Tinkerbell. But other people are kind of like... Peter too, honestly. And Peter too. But other people are just like, why? Why are we doing this? Well, why well, do we keep doing this? It doesn't help too that anytime you ask questions, you're immediately met with us because you're racist. I keep seeing all these threads because I do Disney stuff and there's all these Disney threads. And I'm going to tell you right now, just Disney on Facebook is notorious for deliberately trying to, to cause racial divide and issues and then, then sit there, sit back and take all the views for engagement purposes. Like they're deliberately trying to bait people into that stuff. And a lot of people, it's start, I'm starting to notice, like with The Little Mermaid, they were more adamant. And now that Peter Pan and the, this, what is it? Peter Pan and Wendy came out. Yeah. The trailer came out. Um, I'm starting to see more and more people be like, but why? Why do, we need another, why do we need another Peter Pan? Why do we need more live action stuff? Uh, yeah. Why, you know, why? Like, it's more Stop. about why than it is about being racist. It's about like, I don't understand why we need this at all. And they're hardly ever good. In fact, the only live action Disney adaptation I've seen that was decent, it might have actually improved on the original, in my opinion, was the very first one they did, the Jungle Book, mm -hmm. I thought was actually pretty decent. But after that, it was like, yeah, why? Why are we? Why are we doing that? Why are we going back to this well again and again? And but the again? internet could all probably be united on one thing. At least it's not Julia Roberts. That's true. Yeah, she was. She was very unlikable. She was no. unlikable on set too. I heard she was. Yeah, very but difficult she, to... as Tinkerbell, she sucked. Sorry. <sighs> all right, so we're gonna talk about this. Basically, everybody hates Peter Pan, Wendy, the trailer, all of that. Look at this downboats, uh, three hundred forty-nine thousand to forty thousand. That is not just because people. A racist. A racist. Uh, even the Mary Sue. Even the Mary Sue, which is usually like, oh, the racists are mad or even kind of like, yeah, the trailer makes me wonder why Disney has something against good cinematography. Because it's all dark. Why? It's Neverland. It's just bright and beautiful. It's all dark. Everything's dark. Well, that's what they said. And actually, people said the comments. I looked at the comments. People were like, is this Disney trying to cover up for their piss poor VFX? I don't know. You know, it, it could be. You're just not allowed to, to make things dark. Yeah. If you make it dark, you're problematic. Oh, my God. Uh, but then we have also got this one. Disney found a way to make us care about Peter Pan again. I think they're afraid to be they're afraid to be uh, critical. And we have different people. Mm -hmm. You know, they're afraid to be critical of this. But the reality is, is that a lot of people, even in Japan, we're going to talk about this. Even Japanese are against it. Uh, we've got TMZ calling it out. People are pissed. It's not just pissed about Black Tinkerbell. It's just mm. the whole thing in oh, general. Yeah, this, I want to talk about this. This is one of the most, I have said it many times. I can tell you for a fact, people in the comments have been saying this over and over and over again, especially people who aren't white. Um, and I've gotten so much shit for saying the same thing. They're just like, why can't we have new characters? They're all like, why do we keep having to race swap characters? Why do we just give flipping hand-me-downs? Why? It's so, so much easier for them to say, okay, I'll take her bells black now. Ariel's black now than it is to actually write new characters. Spend the time to create new characters, craft a story, look at folk stories, look at different things to make it, you know, relevant to that audience and an actual character for them. No, no, we don't need to waste that kind of time. What characters have that are popular? Okay, make them black. Yeah, pretty much. Well, there there are actual quotas now. In fact, there's something I, I read they're trying to push through in California that if you're going to film in California or get money from California, you basically have to have a quota and you have to show them your diversity and inclusion initiatives. I mean, hell, we've got a point now where freaking Transformers, the new Transformers kids show, the Transformers are having a conversation about pronouns. Oh, my God, they were. It was ridiculous. On Transformers show. Why? What the hell is going on? So and about yeah, non-binary. So let's and people are just tired of it. People are tired of it. We are entering, uh, I would say, the quote unquote post woke age where we're going to see a lot of vestigial remnants of movies that were greenlit before. But I think the general public is like, yeah, you know what? We're we're over this. We're over it. We're done with it. And um, this is one of those things where everybody's kind of like, yeah, this is a stupid. Everybody's trying on Peter Pan and Wendy. Yeah, they are. For, again, a variety of a variety, reasons. And then, but it's not just automatically, oh, it's because you're racist. As they label people, they, I'm going to dismiss any good argument you have as racism so I don't have to listen to it. 
Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 297, almost 300,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about Disney, talk about animation. Uh, we've worked in and around the company for a number of years, and Disney's gotten kind of weird lately, and they've also gotten very lazy. Uh, lazy in the fact that they are, you know, just strip mining every classic IP that they've had. Mm -hmm. And the weird thing about Peter Pan is... There have been so many damn Peter Pan movies. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, you know, in the last decade even, and a lot of them look better than the one that Disney's mm -hmm. bringing out and closer to the books. But, uh, you know, let's let's do... And the thing is, I don't think any of these made a lot of money. I think people are like, yeah, Peter Pan's kind of eh, whatever. I don't think this is going to make a lot of money. No. I don't, I, I, I don't think this is going to do well at all. I mean, everybody's... Everybody's pissed about this. So uh, again, looking at the down votes, three hundred forty-nine thousand to forty thousand up votes. They turned the comments off too, didn't they? Of course they did. Yeah, that's that's Disney's mo. Is the I mean, look, Disney. This is a pretty good indicator of where the public actually is with your stuff. You know, when you put on social media and you get massive, massive backlash, it's not just a minor, a, a small group of vocal bigots. It's right. the general public. People don't people. Would, wouldn't mind, like, the diversity inclusion in shows. Like, you have all kinds of movies lately with characters that were their own thing, and they were their own, they were diverse characters, and people, you know, I'm sure you have some people who hate it, but most people embrace it because it's like, oh, it's a new thing, it's its own thing. But people are tired of having everything just swap for the sake of swapping. It is lazy, it is cheap, and, and then, and then you, you all hide behind the, if anybody complains, it's because they're a bigot. Bullshit. It's not working anymore. I mean, they were already, they were doubling down Ariel and it was a little mer the little mermaid and people were on these same boards were like, have, you, oh, you don't like it. It's because you're a racist or whatever. And now they're, they're tripling down because they're going to be racist because people are like, no, no, no. I'm seeing it more and more with Peter Pan and Wendy. They're just like, this is stupid. This is cheap. Why are we doing this? Yeah. And you were mentioning about yes. the little mermaid that the weird thing, and this happened, we saw this happen with Star Wars too. Yeah, where Disney kind of walked it back and started releasing more and more original trilogy stuff when their own sequel trilogy didn't do so hot. I cover the Disney stuff, so I'm covering Disney merchandise all the time. And last week or week before, they released a bunch of Little Mermaid pieces, like clothing pieces and different mermaid, Little Mermaid housewares and all kinds of stuff. All old Ariel. They're having a new line coming for Dooney and Burke on the 15th, and it's going to be Little Mermaid ahead of the new movie. And it's old Ariel. So the merchandise is reflecting the other. Now there is a doll release now for the new movie and she's actually pretty cute. Um, and they have her, but most of their stuff, they're, they're, sh they're sh shilling on a uh, shop. Disney mm -hmm. is original Ariel. Yes. Ginger Ariel. Yes. Cause they know that. Ariel, if you will. Jeriel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a totally different mermaid. Just wait. Well, Tinkerbell, <laughs> I want to point out, people keep mentioning, um, was it, um, Iridessa? They had a black fairy in the Tinkerbell movies and stuff, and it was Iridessa. And um, they had th all kinds of different fairies, actually. Well, I mean, regardless, just it looks it looks really washed. Like, look at this. This looks really. That's what everybody's pointing out. They're like, it looks murky. I can okay. I can give them being murky when they're like you know in London or whatever. Yeah. But then when they go over to Neverland, it's supposed to be like this bright, colorful, beautiful place. And it's very dark. It's very dingy. Like, even compared to the other Peter Pan movies, you know, they looked brighter and cheerier and, you know, just, I, I don't know. It, it looks, it doesn't look good. And Mary Sue is correct in that. So let's talk about the backlash. Which article do we want to go to here? We've got uh, Paper Mag says the Black Tinkerbell is criticized as lazy attempt at diversity. Um, we've got uh, TMZ. Twitter is pissed. Twitter yeah, I'm pissed. seeing it. I'm not just seeing it on Twitter. I'm seeing it on Facebook. I'm seeing it in different groups over and over again. And it's a lot of non-white people saying it. They're like, why do we keep getting just race swap characters? Why aren't we getting our own characters? Yeah, they even said, I mean, this is Twitter that should be all about it, right? And people are turning. They're turning on Disney. They said a bunch of people are complaining about the switch up, saying it feels like the company's more interested in image than inclusivity. They because they're not. Work on their their uh, cinematography here. Here's Alex Hide. Disney couldn't care less about making new stories with POC characters. They just put POC people to play white characters 
And that shows uh, how lazy Disney is and how racist this is. Like, they don't think POC people deserve their own stories. Right. My, That's my, what I'm saying. That's what I've been saying. God, if only YouTubers have been saying this for like five years now and everybody called us racist. I know, because that's immediately the response. Well, you're just racist. You don't like it. I'm just like, but it doesn't make sense to do this. Why can't you just do new characters, new stories that are actually characters and stories about cultures that you keep saying you want to represent? So they're actually more true to those people instead of just saying, here's a white character. Um, we're just going to change the color. Yeah, here we go. More. Uh, the reason studios make beloved characters black in the live action adaptations so they don't have to go to the trouble of actually giving special brand new unique characters made from scratch to black people. Yeah. That's probably a legit complaint. You know, it's just take an existing character, bada bing, bada bam. There we go. We we hit our uh, diversity and inclusion check mark, you know, whatever. And if the movie flops, we just blame the audience. Moving mm -hmm. on. Uh, instead of giving POC their own movies or making new movies with POC characters, they decide to just make white characters black for some reason to be like, Hey, we're so accepting. We support everyone. This is weird. Other than the Princess and the Frog, there isn't any other. Um, yeah, that's actually a pretty good point. You know, uh, again, this is this is a story that now Neverland. I mean, Tinkerbell is from Neverland, mm -hmm. but we're we're dealing with uh, English literature. You know, what I'm saying it's like your know, race swaps don't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, you know, on some level. That's but. all they do. Instead of giving a, giving people that are diverse their own characters and stories, which, which they're totally capable of doing, we've seen them do it a number of times. They can do it, but that requires effort. And all these live, and they're trying to bank on these live action adaptations, which at the end of the day, most people just hate the live action adaptations because they've been dog shit. It has no. nothing to do with race swapping. You're going to race swap characters to be like, look, it's new and different. And if you don't come, it's because you're a racist. People are catching on. They're like your live action movies are dog shit. We don't like them. Race swapping characters isn't going to make us come anymore anyway because we don't want to see it in the first place. And now it's just kind of getting insulting because you're just trying to use a, a you know a racism argument to get people's asses in the theater to see another one of your live action remakes. It's also, you know, sad that they put their actors and actresses in the crosshairs yes. know, knowing that there's going to be backlash, mm -hmm. knowing that in a lot of cases the swap is lazy. Uh, the characters, you know, iconic like Ariel or something like that. And there, there's going to be backlash. Then they have to send their actresses out there to more or less run defense, which is disgusting, I think, right. because it's like it wasn't their job. They took the gig. It wasn't their job to go out there and have to, you know, uh, apologize for the movie or whatever. It's like you you knew when you made the casting choice that you were going to put them in the crosshairs. Because people have certain expectations. And at the end of the day, the movie's probably going to be a box office failure anyway. Well, in this case, they're putting it right on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. But they've tried them in the theaters and it's not working. And you know what's really scary? Okay, it's been bad enough. You know they're doing a live action adaptation of Bambi and Lilo and Stitch. <sighs> I, don't, I don't even want to know what kind of horrific thing we're going to get with Lilo and Stitch. The only one I, I would like to see a live action adaptation of in competent hands would be the Black Cauldron because it was based on books that well, Black I think, Cauldron you got, yeah. Yeah, I, I could see them doing like a I think a Atlantis would be done really, could be done really well. Atlantis could be, I think yeah. Atlantis could be done really well, yeah. So here, Japanese, Japanese fans are wondering too. Here's some of the comments on the Japanese trailer. Here we go again, enough already. Can we just stop expecting a movie that isn't politically correct from Disney already? Disney sure has fallen. What's with the serious tune I can't get excited about? It looks unfun. Tinkerbell's like Disney's poster girl. It's shocking. I guess I'll think of it as an alternate. People world. keep bringing that up, too. They keep saying, well, you know, here's the issue. It's not like Ariel. Tinkerbell is the icon of Disney. She was. She was the face of, of the Disneyland show for years. Right. You know, and she's like, it's like you're just completely changing her look completely. Uh, Disney is just prioritizing adults over providing children with dreams. I, 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 the adults don't care either. These young actors will receive hate. Yes, these young actors will receive hate from around the world before the movie gets released. I think something is wrong with people making content for kids. Children's happiness is the most important. What? I want to be innocent again. But no, the, pro the problem is, is, like I said, they they put their actors and actresses in the crosshairs. And they always make them do. They did this with Moses Ingram, too. They kind of, you know, did preemptive damage control and actually called attention. Now, that was a new character. 
But they called attention to something almost as if it was part of the marketing. Like, we'll just make a big deal about how oh, well, the bigots are going to get mad by the black girl in the Star Wars and see what happens. Yeah. And before it even came out. Before it even came out. And then the show was dog shit. It didn't matter if she was... Actually, my, my one friend was like, yeah, actually, Obi-Wan sucked, but I liked Reva. She was one of the best parts of the show, yeah. but the rest of the show sucked, you know? Um, change it for the worst is too much. I'm canceling once the Mandalorian ends. Just change the name to... Uh, Police Core Plus, Polycore, or Polycore, Polycore Plus, I guess. I don't know. Quitting after the Mandalorian. It's blasphemy to the original work. Um, it's necessary to have this much diversity in the world of Peter Pan. Um, <laughs> Tinkerbell must be from Wakanda. I'm not. This yeah. is from J this is yeah. Japan. This is Iridesa. not us. We're just reading. Actually, the fairies. Iridesa, yeah. The fear. The fairies books were pretty popular in Japan. They had manga based yeah. on them, so and they would be familiar with those characters. The, the, the movies were really good too. I know we had every one because uh, Pinky Boo loved it. I think it's hilarious. They're trying to show how much they care about black people, but end up making things more racist. Yes, instead. that's what people keep saying. Usually what happens, but uh, everybody seems to be in agreement that this movie looks like trash. I think, you know, um, you, they were getting, there's one little mermaid, they're doubling down. You have the, the characters in it looking garbage. And they're just like, but well, you're racist, 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 racist. And now they come out with this. Yeah. And they're trying to double down the racist argument. People are like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, one time we'll give you. But now we're coming in again and, that, and and people are bringing up legitimate concerns, racism. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, are we going to wrap this up? Yeah. I think we need to wrap this up. Uh, yeah, Pete's Dragon. I forgot that existed. Oh, yeah. It, was, it, wasn't, <laughs> it was, wasn't good. No, it wasn't good. I'm sorry. Uh, it was pretty brooding. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.